Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20th of the September Leap Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Still in Spain, still in San Sebastian. I uh, did a long hike yesterday. Really tired. My, my body is very beat. I am not in shape. So anyway, today the problem is... So yeah, so anyway, yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. Today's problem is find winner on a tic-tac-toe game. Okay, let's see what that means. I usually solve these live, so it's a little bit slow. Just watch it on a faster speed. I feel like I have to say that every time because you would leave a comment otherwise. Okay, so we know the tic tac toe. Let's, let's hope that these are actual rules of tic tac toe because sometimes they say stuff like that, but not. Um, okay. We turn the game to exist or still movements to fight. Okay. That should be. Okay, so I was wondering if there's going to be some invalid, invalid uh, thing where, um, invalid thing where, you know, both are winning or something like that. Um, okay. So there's just th three cases. Draw, well, four, you want to kind of draw A win, B win, or pending. Okay. A is X and B is O. Okay, so I mean this seems pretty straightforward. Um, considering that this is a three by three grid. Oh, they give you the moves instead of the thing. Okay, that's fine too. Mm. I wonder if there's anything like, you know, the last one is always the one that makes the, the game end. But, but okay, let's get started. Uh, do we, we don't have to print this out, right? No, okay. So let's just get started then. Yeah, so four is going to be the same one. And then now just for x, y, and moves. Maybe I have to do a numerator as well to get the turn number. The turn number will determine who place. Um, okay, so board of x, y is equal to turn mark 2 just to get the the player that has it. Um, okay, and then here, now we check whether this turn wins, so we just have to check. Mm, how do I want to check this? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. So I, <laughs> so I just woke up. Usually I'm a little bit more alert than this. But, uh, but I walked 10 miles yesterday. More than 10 miles, maybe. I don't even remember. Somewhere, well, at least 10 miles yesterday. So, um, so I'm a little bit beat. Okay. And if you want to see that story, follow me on Instagram and watch the story. Because I actually post a lot about it. Which is maybe not super great. But, okay. Mm, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to think about how, how I want to do it. So there are two ways to can do, think about it. One is that that for this space, you just check the adjacent things, right? And of course, that means that you're the corner. My, what I mean is just like, you just check the row column and the diagonal that this thing is in, or maybe two diagonals. Um, and you could do that for sure. And then the other way to do it is just check the entire board. Which is slightly more expensive, but not really, right? There's only eight di or eight um, places to check, which is three rows, three columns, and the two diagonals. So it's only like at most, you know, two, two, two three times more work. Um, and then that question means, um, do we check? Oh, oh sorry. Um, so then the question is whether you know, the game ends, right? Uh, oh, yeah, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. So then, and the question is, because it doesn't really matter either way, then which, what is easier to implement, right? So yeah, so that's basically the idea. Um, yeah. And actually, because all the moves are valid, I think we don't even have to check this one at a time. Usually you do or whatever. You can actually just check it all at the very end because, because, yeah, so then maybe what I said doesn't even matter because you can just check it once at the very end because all the roofs are valid, right? So, okay, so let, let's check then. Um, if good, 
of let's put in a function. If this is good, then we return uh um yeah. So if it's good, that means the game ended, and the game ended, then it the answer is A if um length of moves mod two is equal to zero. Right, is that true? No, it's equal to one because that means that yeah, okay, so it's equal to one. Um, I mean, this is way to be a syntax, but that's besides the point. That's just pi five, I think. Um, okay. Otherwise, we do a return. Was it pending? So if no one wins, then it's pending. If the length of moves is less than nine, else then uh, draw, right? Because basically, you did all the moves, then then yeah, it's draw. Then now we can just do the implement, the put implementation here. Um, yeah, we could do the we. We can do. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think whether how many four loops I want to do, or just sometimes I would just do all three things. Um, maybe I'll just, or do all eight possibilities. Is that easier to write? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Right. I mean, you could add some. Four loops, but it's not that. Okay, fine. Let's just do four loops. What am I doing? Um, let's say, uh, if four of t of zero, uh, maybe combination of two, three point two, I'm not sure that this is any faster, but yeah. Okay, and then now the other thing is just, um, yeah, I mean, we can just like, um, I'm not actually sure about all of our things, I'm going to do this. And yeah, and that's all I have, assuming it's right. If it's wrong, then I might have more. <laughs> so that's, uh, ooh, kind of, what's that mean? Okay, not the internet, not the internet. I just need to do this thing. I want it while I copy and paste. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this looks good except for this one. Hmm. Oh, hmm. okay. I know why. What's wrong? What's wrong is that these things uh, it compares the none the, the, the three nuns compare to each other correctly. So, or like you know, so it's a little bit weird. But okay, fine. Hmm. I know we just have to add this, but... So it's a little bit awkward, but... Hmm. Yeah, okay. But this is why you test things, even if you are... Uh, especially if you are me and sloppy sometimes. Yeah. Testing is so that you can protect yourself against yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that looks good. Um, I don't know if there are any other scenarios. Maybe try the diagonal. I don't know if these inputs. I don't know if this inputs are diagonal. Uh, I guess actually both inputs are diagonal. So maybe we try something even as simple as um, just like uh, 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 by a row or something like that. I'm a little bit lazy though, so if I have a typo, I have a typo. What? Oh, oh oops. And then that two, obviously, maybe. Yeah, and I'm. Uh, yeah. 
Not that well either. I mean, if I have a typo, I have a typo. But logically, I think we're okay. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this one is just a problem of breaking it down into easier and easier pieces, and then it becomes a strategy of thinking about how you want to implement it. Um, yeah, because the thing that I probably overthink a little bit sometimes, to be honest, is just about the ease of implementation um, and how to make myself least likely to make a mistake, uh, which sometimes leads to the decisions, but, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. That's all I have for this one. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.